So, Sally, we're back. More of the invasion. Oh my goodness. Hold on a second. Why is it not working? Hey. Recognize my inputs, game. Hmm. Video game? Hello? Something has gone wrong. Well, whatever. Is, is it? Is it? Is it? Is it not working? What the heck? Game! There it goes. Good grief. Yeah, that one. Goodness. Oh, I set it to two players somehow. Alright, hold on. <laughs> hold on! Video game, cooperate with me. Invasion. That. There we go. Okay, so I checked in the editor and I figured out where all the secret exits are. Exits are. And by figured out, I mean I just browsed around until I located them. And there is indeed one in Subcon Nightmare Land. And that arrow that seems to be pointing to nothing was actually a hint. So Pauline, th or, yeah, Pauline thought she cleared this whole mess, but uh, she left a few things to clean up, and thankfully, the mysterious Mr. Cole is here to take care of her. So yeah, we're gonna hopefully get all those cleared up. I had said before that there were seven secret exits I missed, but I was actually incorrect. There were only six, and then one of the stages we did in that session, <laughs> I missed one in, so it's seven anyway. That's okay, we'll be fine. My goodness, Mr. L sure can jump. Look how high he goes. I would like to get a power up up here. Because I carelessly wasted the ones I grabbed before I started it. This traction is so much worse. You'd think it would be better than Pauline's high heels, but apparently not. Then again, I guess heels kind of grip the ground a little bit. They just kind of drive a spike into it. So maybe there's some logic there. I don't know. But whatever, we're going to try to get these done quickly and efficiently so that we can move on from the invasion to better and more interesting episodes. <laughs> it's practically inevitable that they will be better and more interesting because my goodness, this episode, it's just, it's, it hasn't aged well. And that's understandable considering the limitations it had at the time. Like, goodness. Um being the oldest SMBX episode is missing, like, most of the features. This is just the bare bones stuff it had. Yeah, what we were supposed to do here was it- well, hold on. First of all, can I get a better power out of these? I can! Uh, I forgot how satisfying it is to play as Mr. L and just hit all the coins out of a block at once. But yeah, you just go back up the same pipe. Ta-da! Here we are! <laughs> Another section, and we just leap of faith to this keyhole. And that gets us that one. There's our super secret trail that lets us skip that pipe in that bonus house, I guess. So, onward and upward. Next, we have to go to Mega Underground Zone. Where was the secret here? A bunch of these you have to fly to in stupid ways, so I'm not not exactly looking forward to that, but we'll figure it out. We'll get there. Um, I don't think there are leaves yet. It's just going to be more fire flowers, yep. I don't know why I'm breaking all these bricks. Let's just go. Uh, where was it exactly here? Oh, right. This one, actually. We found the, the secret exit, which was actually a boss exit, and then we just never went back into levels, so we just have to complete it normally. <laughs> waiting. Waiting. Waiting safely. Whoa, a power-up I already have. I mean, I guess there's a chance I don't have it, but... Okay, yeah, we just have to complete the level normal. I'm kind of tempted to, like, hit these blocks to see if there's multiple coins in them, because that's fun. It's also, like, the only way to get non-SMB3 coins in this episode, I suppose, because the type of coin that pops out depends on the type of block it is. Ooh, that guy almost smashed me into the ceiling. And that was needlessly risky. Ah oh, man. Give me my fire flower. Mr. Rat, it's not wish to be smart. My phone is buzzing. No. I had to take some time to find all those things. So now it's like at the point where I would normally stop recording, but it's okay. I have portions of the It'll be plant. Yeah, just don't go down all the pipes. 
Yeah, see? Like that. Wow, look at all the coins. Ah, jeez. Why am I doing this to myself? Okay. Uh, no, that's fine. Those guys are traps, actually, I think. Because you bop them, and then, well, they start breaking the bricks that you're standing on, you know? And opening up the pit. Why am I checking pipes? I'm supposed to not check. <laughs> just go. We just go. There's an end third roulette waiting for us, and it's gonna take us to the other stage. Oh, I don't like bullets. Let's just get out of here. Boing, boing, boing. Hop. Oh, for a second there, I thought I'd slam my face into that shy guy, and I was gonna be upset, but no, it worked out. It worked out just fine. Ta-da! Whoa. So that's that one. Five left. Five to go. Uh, where was the next one? I think it's in Flying Raccoon Zone. Let's say. But first, why don't we stop off and get some stuff. At the top secret area. Yeah, I was right. There was Yoshi here. I couldn't tell if I was just crazy and misremembering. Alright, so we got our tail, we got our Yosh. Uh, uh, sure, we'll take a fire flower tail. As you might expect, in the Flying Raccoon Zone, they expect you to fly to get the secret. Actually, you need to do a fair bit of flying to get, like, all the remaining secrets, if I recall. But yeah, this one, it's actually, like, right at the end. So as long as we've got a leaf near the end of the level, we're fine. And Yoshi will help with that. See? It's already helping. That would have hurt me. Alright, bye Yosh. It's nice knowing you. We're never going to see you again because they decided you're too cool for this episode. In the pit with you. In the pit with you. So what? This is how we deal with our shy guys. And their fireproof ways. Okay. Great jump. My goodness, he jumps so much higher. It's honestly astonishing. He can just go so high. I should play as the other characters more often. Maybe we'll let them handle their own episodes whenever it seems appropriate. I can use a backup leaf. Yes. Backup leaf. Uh, oh wait, I think it's in the section beyond this, actually. We're just gonna fly over everything if that's okay. Or is this all one section? Well, we still need the key before we can take it to the hole, so... Okay, yeah, we're close. We wanna fly, like, here. Up to this super secret pipe. And there's our key. Uh, I don't remember where the hole is. <laughs> Somewhere out here, I guess. So I gotta fly. I'll do it. Do I just, do I just drop down? Where is that keyhole? <laughs> um, well, clearly that was wrong. Hmm. Must be in here somewhere. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Just start all over. It's fine. I mean, it must be in there somewhere because that's where the key is. I don't need to, like... Well, no, that wouldn't make sense because... I'm like, do I need to hit the P-switch? Is it behind a brick? But yeah, that, that shouldn't be the case. Unless they made it so you can take the key back out. I don't think the keyhole's out here, though. Because I'm pretty sure taking NPCs through pipes was not a thing back then. It is the thing. My goodness, this really is a much slower level when you don't just fly the whole thing, isn't it? Okay, yeah, hold on a second. I, I could put it out of the way. I'm gonna see if I can't speed this up a little bit. Sweet, that's what I get. <laughs> just hoping. There's another leap in those blocks up there. 
Not that I don't have this one, it's just... It's kind of necessary for later. Okay, there we go. Why? Screw you, screw you. This is what happened last time, too. That runway's just too short. I don't think I don't remember. Yeah, like, you have to hit the speed switch to get through here anyway, so it doesn't really matter. This pass is just a little tricky for Luigi. Sorry, Mr. L, because he's just a little too tall. He's too tall for these shenanigans. Alright, so what's going on here? Where is this keyhole? Let's just confirm, first of all, that we can't take the key through the pipe. No, we're trapped in here, so the, the keyhole must be somewhere. Oh wait, I think I get it. Um... Maybe I do need to fly. Alright, let's go. That's not enough momentum! <laughs> Oy. Maybe I go straight up. Let me just go straight up. There it is. Goodness. So stupid. See, I could get enough momentum going to the left because I could jump over the right and get some, like, airtime momentum going to the side. Anyway, that takes care of that one. Goodness, there's more trouble than I thought it would be. Let me just look at my notepad. What was next? What was next? We gotta go to a short level again. Even though we thought we were thorough with it, it had uh, yet another little secret for us. Where are you, short level? Right here? Yeah, you're right here. So, not falling for the obvious trap. It's actually not obvious at all. Many a player has fallen for that, quite literally. But yeah, this one's all the way at the end, too, so it's most of the, just the normal level up until the point. Jump clean over that pipe. Let's go. Fly. Keep fly. Don't stop. Or at least keep up the momentum. Oh no. Oh no. Why? Why, game? Why? Why is this Mr. L's face? Is it because I'm terrible, or is it because you're terrible? I'm gonna go ahead and say it's because you're terrible, because you know what? You shouldn't put the player in a no-win situation like that. It should be such that whenever you fall on the side where you're hopelessly stuck and can only throw yourself in the abyss, that there's nowhere to land. Yup. It's because you're bad. So there. I feel justified in that explanation, and that... In fact, that completely absolves me of all of my, fault. my fault. Yep. There's nothing to hurt myself on here, so I'm not going to worry about these extra leaves. I'm just gonna take off. Just gonna... Take off! Fly so high. So high that we don't have to worry about this stupid pillar. It is actually pretty properly placed. Like, you can't quite get that without going all the way with it. Okay, so this one. We need to hit this switch. Fly up here. There's the key. Give me. And now we need to run across these bricks while we still have time. Because you have to fly the key over here. <sighs> That's that one. And it gets us a bonus room we didn't see. Isn't that exciting? Whoa. PK switch. I guess Red Digit's uh, also a fan of Earthbound. What happens when I press it? Nothing. You push the switch and that's it. <laughs> 
All right, I'm taking a flower. Getting out of here. Yeah, that that didn't do anything. It didn't do anything. There's just a switch, and you push it. <laughs> Dumb. Not worth. Moving on. Ugh, Bone Hammer 2. Yeah, it's in here. Also, they misspelled do. It's supposed to be like E U, and they spelled it the other way. Sure, whatever. <laughs> I don't need it anyway. Let's just go. This one's uh, somewhere in the middle, but we definitely need a leaf for it, so I'm gonna protect that second power up if I can manage it. Oh, right. He's not susceptible to that. Don't worry, I'm not crazy. You're crazy for thinking I'm crazy. These Goombas are a bit much. Can you not, guy? Can you not? Coming down these stairs. I should have ground to the pawn hammer. What am I doing? Or is it later? Maybe you don't have it right away. I can't remember. I don't care. I'm just going. I just want to get these secrets and move on. I want to move on to the first request I received on my thread. Why am I meant to bounce on that guy? 